Casco Viejo has been a very rich area um, for Panama. Many investors, and including the government, trying to bring back to life what it was. Basically, Tantalo Hotel is a combination, it's a mixture of what is local, traditional, here in Latin America and precisely in Panama, but also bringing uh, a sort of a design, an eco-friendly design, like in every corner in the hotel. We have a, our green wall, as we know in Panama it rains a lot, and uh, we want to take advantage of that by creating a system, uh, or implementing a system where they, when it rains, it irrigates itself. Place of Properties, which is a, a, the owner, um, wanted to give the opportunity to local artists by giving them a huge canvas, which was basically each room. So we have now the result of having 12 different rooms with 12 different teams for you know different type of people. In regards to uh, like fresh produce, I go to the local uh, farm market. Fish is something which is really, really hard here in Panama. Even though that we are surrounded by both seas, it's kind of hard. Yes, we do have a seafood fresh market here, but you don't have too many options in there. We do have it here in our oceans, but everything gets exported. Well, if I ever get a day off, um, I will go and have lunch to my favorite restaurant, which is Segundo Muelle. After that, I will go and take a look to the Panama Canal. You should go and take a look to our baseball games. I always try to keep myself around Casco. Um, I think the gastronomy is uh, amazing. There are amazing restaurants in there and uh, best ice creams as well. We got it from the construction. So we pretty much went through everything. You know, we know what went wrong, what went right, what we have to do. Me as a chef that I see every day that the restaurant is totally booked. It's like, you know, you know, it's well worth it, you know, it's priceless. <laughs>